everybody, this is Happy Bird from happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com and today I have a little Hobby Lobby haul for you. I normally don't do haul videos, but I thought you guys might be interested in some of the things I picked up. Most of the things I bought were um, reduced, and so I'll go ahead and start. The first thing that I found was this 72-piece a set of Silly Winks foam shapes and they were $3.59 they were marked down to $0.89 cents. and I found these in the clearance section they have a separate clearance section but sometimes their um, reduced prices are actually hanging on the racks as well but this was in the clearance section and I thought these would make really cute little tags or um, just anything actually for Christmas. They have a little walrus here with this snow cap on, a little polar bear, a little penguin. I don't know, you probably can't see this penguin, but it's like that. And there may be some periodic bag rattling in this video, so if you're sensitive to that, please turn on your closed captions. And here they have exactly all the shapes that they have in there. And, of course, I showed you the polar bear, but we have a snowflake, a penguin, a little sign that says, Have an Ice Day, a little narwhal, and another snowflake, the little walrus, a little sign that says, Burr, and a little igloo. So those would be really cute making some of these up. Okay, and, um, and the next thing I found... The sticker section. Boy, they sure had a load of stickers and Christmas stickers and Christmas embellishments out right now. And I thought these were cute. Little trees and little snowmen. Yeah. And I found these. These were $2.49. Most of their stickers are $2.49, but um, I wouldn't buy these unless they were on sale because you'll see these things on sale a lot in between now and Christmas time. And then you can pick them up there. I just I thought these were awesome though. For $2.49. You can make a lot of really cute crafts out of these, including jewelry crafts. And up. These were $2.49, of course. And they really had some adorable stickers. These are puffy stickers. But they were really cute. And then they had these little, um, they feel like resin. <laughs> uh, these were $2.49, little snow globes. These were also very cute. And then I just picked up some of these Christmas foil stickers that say Merry Christmas. And there's 48 pieces in here. And then I went to the bead section and hanging up in the bead section they had selected certain beads and bead findings and charms that they reduced so they're just hanging sporadically in with the jewelry itself and the first thing I saw was this and it's regular $8.99 and they had reduced this to $2.24 and I thought this is awesome because you can make little bead dangles for your shabby chic crafts or your tags and I not only bought one but I also bought two and I think I'm going to open this one up to show you guys what's in it. Hold on for a second. All I can say is, wow, $2.24. And 
and they really are a nice quality acrylic bead and you have so many choices isn't that pretty nice quality at these beads here and then you've got the little marble looking ones so many here I love these. I think they're beautiful. Just beautiful. They look like glass beads. And you've got a little teardrop shaped one. And you've got butterflies in here. Look at that. Aren't they cute? And then you have these that are very pretty. And then you have little heart-shaped ones, like this. There's just so many in here. And then you've got little bitty ones in here, too, like that. And then we have some rectangular ones. So there's a lot that you can do with these. And it's so worth the price. A lot of really pretty colors. They had other bead boxes on sale for $2.24 as well. Um, but I went with something that was more of a shabby chic style. Because that's what I do a lot of right now. Simple, I call it simple shabby chic. I'm I don't get into the the real fluff and lace and you know um, I like the shabby chic look but a little simpler so um, anyway I want to show that to you and um, so we'll move on I'll clean this up and then we'll move on now in the jewelry section I really had to restrain myself I only bought a few of their charms and whatnot because honestly I could have picked up a ton. <laughs> um, they had a lot of different things reduced throughout their jewelry section hanging up and I picked these up. These were like originally $5.99 a piece and they were reduced to $1.49 and um, I'm going to be taking off the bottom tassel and just using them as um, like tassels for tags or whatnot. And I'm going to save the top piece because I want to repurpose this into a lovely pair of Christmas earrings with a different type of bead dangle down here. And I got two pairs because I wanted to make myself a pair and also a pair for a good friend of mine. So um, I got two of those. And... Like I said, they had tons of charms, but I picked this up for $1.24, and it was regular $4.99. I thought this would be cute even to turn this way, and maybe snip off the ends here, and use this on a box or whatnot as like a little faux lock. I thought that would be really cute. And... Then I found this for 99 cents. It was regular $3.99. And I got two sets because I thought these little mirrors here would be just perfect to add to a, um, an embellished a shabby chic type box. And it, they have a little glass charm here. And then this says beautiful on it. And a cute little charm that says hello. To be honest with you, I'm not real big on the hello signage. I mean, to me, it doesn't really mean anything. Um, you know, so I probably will leave this off. But I'm sure I'll be using these three. And so I thought that was a good deal. 
they had so many charms there. And then I found this box of wooden crosses with little tiny ball chain on each one. And this was originally $9.99 and they reduced it to $2.49. Now I won't use these as is. I will be painting these and embellishing these and making them beautiful. And I think they would make lovely little um, charms to hang off of tags or any other type of project. And you get 30 pieces in here. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And let's see. And I found these. These were $2.99 originally, reduced to $0.74. Cents. These are 8 millimeter acrylic um, pearl finish beads. I think they're very pretty. A lot of detail to them. This would look good in a lot of projects. And this would make a really nice lightweight accent if you're making bracelets or earrings. Very pretty. And then I picked up these. These were $4.99. I got them for $1.24. And it has kind of a white pearlescent shimmer on it with little rhinestones. And I thought this would be really pretty too to use on tags. Really like these. They look kind of Christmassy. And then I found this in the lace department where the lace and trims are. I thought these were very pretty little pink pearls. And this is called Pink Opal. They have, Hobby Lobby has the best deals on trims, even when they're not on sale. But today this was, uh, I think it was half off. So I ended up paying $1.50 and you get 24 feet. And they have these in white and cream color and Aurora Borealis and just all kinds of really pretty soft colors. So I, I love looking in their trim section. And you know, Hobby Lobby, it's good to wait for their sales. Check their sales each week because I notice they kind of rotate their sales. And um, you know, I'll be honest with you, most of the stuff that I buy from Hobby Lobby, I usually end up paying 40 to 50 percent off for it because um, I wait for the sales because they generally, each department generally has their sales at least twice a month. And I had these beautiful gold ribbon ends. These were $3.99. The um, jewelry shop findings, they go on sale at least a couple of times a month also. And you can get these for $2. But um, these were 20 millimeter. I was kind of hoping they would be one inch wide because I had an idea for these, but um, that's okay if they're not, because I can still make my idea work. And uh, so it was for Christmas. I have a lot of things written down. I just have to keep up making them and recording the videos on time. Sometimes that's the hardest part. <laughs> okay, and in the paint section, their paints were... 30% off. I didn't go crazy, but I did buy this. I opened it up already to see the color, and it really is beautiful. This is a ceram ceram coat, and it is in hydrangea pink. And then this is in just white. I thought these would be very pretty as a base coat to many different chubby chic type of um, crafts. And then I bought this pretty lace from Hobby Lobby. It was marked down from $7 a yard to $3.50 a yard, half off. And um, 
but it I paid less than 350 because I only asked for a half a yard so I paid half of uh, 350 so I thought it was really pretty you can use this for a lot of different things and I have some, some upcoming tutorials that I may use on this and then I bought just for the heck of it, I went into the fall section and they had everything for 40% off. They had a lot of really cute things, but to be quite honest with you, I like Thanksgiving, but I really don't do a lot of fall crafts. Um, but I picked these up because I thought these were cute. These were $2.39 a piece. And they're little squirrels. Let me take one of them out of the bag. You get eight squirrels for $2.39. And they really did have some lovely little embellishments for fall. Isn't he cute? So I figured, well, I could do something with these little guys, huh? And it's a nice resin. And I like the paint job, too. If you look up close, it's a pretty nice little paint job. You know, some of the resin pieces that you see they, they look really junky because um, you know they're not painted well and, but these are pretty nice okay and then not sure why but I just thought this was cute I picked it up in the notions section at Hobby Lobby for $1.99 it's a little pom pom here and you pull it and it's a little tape measure and this would be a cute thing to keep in your purse in case you need to take measurements you know of anything you know or a little stocking stuffer <laughs> so I picked that up and I did pick up only um, oops um, three pieces of paper this is a 12 by 12 paper and it's specialty paper, real pretty foiled candy cane print. And then I have this um, kind of a, a fine glitter, not super fine, but kind of fine, and a real pretty pink color because I have some ideas using this uh, with some of my Christmas crafts that I've been thinking about doing. And one of the ideas I had for the little can candy cane paper, um, this is a different thing, but I purchased this candy box punch, and I saw this a lot last year. And I got it marked down, I think it was the original price on it was $18.80. I got it Tuesday morning, and they had it marked down to um, $8.99. So I picked this up a couple of weeks ago, and so I kind of want to do something with that and give a little tutorial on how to use it and maybe make up a couple of candy boxes. I'm not sure yet. I also bought an envelope punch because I had an idea um, with that, and these punches are very easy because... Um, yeah, you know, I'm not very confident in myself, believe it or not, when it comes to paper crafts. And so I need directions like that, and these little punch boards have them, and um, they do a great job, I think, of explaining how to use these boards. And I like the simpler paper projects. You know, I really admire people that can make, you know, the detailed projects, as I put it, um, because... I'm, I just don't have a lot of confidence in myself in that area. But um, I'm trying, and I'm starting out with simple things, and I think that um, a lot of people out there feel the same way, you know, about paper crafts too. So, you know, if I can make up something simple and encourage someone else to do it, then I'm happy. <laughs> okay, um, that is about... It, oh, I did go to Hobby Lobby. Not Hobby Lobby. Oh, good grief, Lori. Sorry about that brain cramp. 
Um, I did go to Dollar Tree, but I only bought three crafty things this time. Uh, Dollar Tree had a lot of really pretty butterfly stickers. They had these in the monarch color tones, and um, they also had them in shades of blue. I thought they were so pretty, and I picked these up. And they had a little birdhouse, and I had an idea about that for Christmas, so I thought that would be nice to pick that up. And I saw these chalkboard tags. They're four pieces for a dollar. They have a hole already in the middle. I probably wouldn't use the twine. I have an idea for this as well. I'm going to have to test it, though, to see if it works or not. These are a nice... Um, Nice quality and nice and stiff. This is wood. Now they did have some other chalkboard tags that were circular, um, but to be honest with you, they, they look like they were made out of heavy duty cardboard, and this looks like they made it out of, um, you know, that balsam wood, I guess you'd call it. So I think it's um, a little nicer the heart-shaped ones. Anyway, so thank you so much for sticking with me. I appreciate it. And God bless each and every one of you. And thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, um, the red subscribe button below this video. And um, please remember to leave me a like. And take care. And God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye.